So this is a really cute little gift from Pretty NYC, a nail polish brand. This packaging specifically came from Refinery29, which is a beauty kind of fashion blog. It does a little bit of everything. They have these really great slideshows that I enjoy kind of quickly clicking through. Um, but they had this special on the Pretty NYC nail polish, and it was a four pack, and it was only through Refinery29, which has this little website called Reserve, which is like its shopping website. So it came in this really cute little eco-friendly bag with this little brown ribbon. When you open it up then, there are four lovely polishes inside. These four polishes, it was called Turkish Sorbet. And they're just kind of really perfect for spring, summer. Just really bright colors. So these are what they look like. And they're just so pretty. Really kind of neon. And really kind of just like perfect. Really nice little four pack. I don't believe the four pack is available to buy in bulk anymore because it was like on sale as a four pack. But you can definitely buy these polishes individually at prettynyc.com. The first color here, this one is called Red Maple. And it is this like neon pink beautiful color. And it's not coming off on camera, but when you set these down and kind of look at them from far away, they have like this kind of neon glow to them that makes them really bright and super fun. So it really is kind of this neon pink color. Of course I have swatches. When you swatch it on the nail, it has a little bit of a salmon kind of pull to it. In the bottle, it looks pretty pink, and then on when you actually put it on a nail, it has just a little bit more of a salmon. The color matches the bottle pretty much perfectly, but it just makes you realize it's not pink pink. It is kind of more of a bright salmon color. So what it reminded me of was Butter London's Trout Pout. But Trout Pout is much more peach, and this color is much more pink. So they're kind of similar, but not really. And this one is so much more kind of neon. Do you see how bright that looks on camera? Just really cool. So that was Red Maple. The next color is Horned Poppy. Horned Poppy is this really pretty bright yellow color, but it's still kind of this pale creamy yellow. Um, it's not so bright where it's like, oh my gosh, but it does have a little bit of a cream factor to it. Do you see too, it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Ever so slightly, it has a little bit of an iridescence. And I think what that does is really help make it look more like a salad kind of yellow. Yellows I feel like are really hard to get to paint. But it came off really nice and opaque. And I think it's kind of because that shimmer quality to it helps kind of fill in any gaps. So you don't really see the shimmer in person on the nail kind of thing. I think it just kind of gives it an overall nice kind of richness to it that makes it a really nice yellow nail polish color. Again, it's kind of bright yet creamy texture. So it's almost like a neon butter. Like this one is Cheeky Chops. This is 0.4 fluid ounces. This one it was kind of my close dupe to Horned Poppy. Except for, again, it's kind of that brightness factor. Um, Horned Poppy has this kind of shimmer effect to it, that iridescence, and then that kind of gives it a nice kind of brightness to it. Where Cheeky Chops is definitely a nice bright yellow on its own, but just not exactly the same. Then again, these are the two nail oils to kind of compare them. So this one is Horned Poppy, and this one is Cheeky Chops. So super close, right? Pretty darn similar. I think in person though, the Horned Poppy actually lays down a lot smoother because again of that shimmer effect. Where Cheeky Chops is a little bit streaky. If you could see the finer details of this nail wheel, and I think in application, it would be a little bit harder than the Horn Poppy. Horn Poppy just went on really nice and smooth. Then the other two colors, this one is Lungwort. And Lungwort is right here. 
And again, it's kind of a neon mint sea foam green color. It has a decent amount of blue to it, so I would definitely call it like a light green blue, but kind of like along that minty kind of color that's coming out really popular this season. Really pretty, again, really kind of bright color. I think if you notice on my nail wheel, I have another color that's very similar to it, and it's also by Pretty NYC. This color is called Blue Star. Okay, and it's just a little bit more dusty, a little bit more pale. It doesn't have that kind of neon effect to it that this color does. And you can kind of even see bottle-wise. This has like a kind of brightness to it, and this one is a little bit more subdued. So this one is Blue Star, and this one is Longwort. So they are very similar, but I wouldn't exactly call them exact. But pretty darn close, huh? So Blue Star is just a little bit more subdued, and Longwort just has a little bit more of that kind of neon brightness factor to it. Lastly then in the 4-pack is this color Dayflower, which I've uploaded a video about because it's on my nails right now, and just a really pretty kind of sheer yet not sheer purple. Almost on the side of Periwinkle, but I would still call it in the line of like lilac purples, and it kind of just has this jelly finish quality to it, and that's what I'm thinking all of them will have. On the nail wheels, because I don't put top coats, I don't think you can see that as well. They kind of just look a little dull. But once you put a top coat on, excuse the gouge, you can really kind of, I think, see how it's kind of got this jelly effect. It just looks really nice in person. Kind of that gel finish quality. So anyways, this is the color, and this is in Dayflower, which is on my nails right now. And I don't have anything close to that. So again, just a really nice quartet pack. Pretty NYC is like an all-natural brand based out of New York. So I highly recommend this nail polish brand. They have some really great colors. They have a huge line. And like I said, they're pretty well priced point. These are 1250.4 fluid ounces, 0.43 fluid ounces. And then their mini flowers are my favorite. This is an example of a mini flower. This is 0.3 fluid ounces and it's only $10. And this is really kind of my favorite size because I don't feel like you need a ton of nail polish. I mean, obviously I have a huge collection, but it's just a nice kind of size because you hardly ever get through a whole bottle of nail polish. And so then size and price point and then ingredients, this one's my favorite kind of style. But again, this is the Turkish Sorbet Quartet, and this is by Pretty NYC.